For today's cook, I'm going to be transforming this beautiful short rib into something incredible. But not only is it going to be delicious, it will have an impressive presentation that anyone will love. And everything starts off with the meat. This is a beautiful four bone short rib. As you can see, it has an incredible amount of marbling. Now, the first thing we want to do is to build flavors. And of course, a sear will definitely help get there. So outside, I went with my flamethrower and put it to work. This is one of the great reasons I like to use the flamethrower for crust. And the flamethrower makes it really easy to get all the edges and corners otherwise would be very difficult to do so. But once I was happy with the sear, this is what it looks like. I'm looking for a golden brown crust, not black. And as you can see, I clearly achieved that. Now the next thing to do is to get it seasoned. Since it's a large piece of meat, I first went with a good amount of salt. We can always adjust the salt later on. Then I went with Guga's rub. This will just help everything taste even better. Once I was done, into the bag it went, I vacuum sealed it and threw it in the water bath at 185 degrees Fahrenheit for 24 hours. Once the time was up, I immediately opened up the bag and started to drain all of the render fat. And as you can see, it had a good amount. Then I opened up the bag, placed it on a cooling rack and let it drain even more. Now one of the things you can't tell is the smell. It is intoxicating and I have a feeling my guys will enjoy this quite a bit. And just in case you are wondering if it's extremely tender, I mean take a look at the bone. It comes out like nothing, completely clean and exactly what I was going for. The next thing to do is to go ahead and get this fully shredded. Since it's extremely tender, it's no big deal. Now some of the fat and silver skin that did not render all the way. This I like to remove. As you can see in the end I was left with perfectly shredded meat. But at the same time it is not enough. So I went ahead and cooked additional meat for it. These are pieces of brisket that I had left. And as you can see it turned out super tender as well. I did the same exact process just in case you were wondering. Now once I was done shredding everything I combined all of it together and into a bowl it went. I tasted for seasoning and it looked like it could use a little bit more of salt. This is where you will adjust. Adding more salt or Guga's rub is up to you. Because once everything was fully mixed, it is now ready for assembly. The only really other important step you gotta make sure you do is to clean the bones really good. A paper tower is good enough. Now to make an incredible presentation, I'm gonna be using puff pastry. The first thing to do is to get it a nice round shape. For that, you can use a burger press like I'm using right here or just a bow. Once I cut out a nice circle, then I went ahead and took out small strips. To assemble, you wanna do this on top of parchment paper. Once that was done, I placed my bone right in the middle, then added a little bit more of short rib and using the strips of puff pastry. I went ahead and covered the whole thing with it. Once I was done, I added some more to the edges. Then I grabbed the fork and pressed it even more. You can literally get as creative as you like with the design. And I want to give George's Kitchen a huge shout out for this inspiration. Because the next thing to do is to go ahead and finish the cook. So I went ahead and brushed egg washed in all of them. This will make sure that we get a nice golden brown color in the end. And into the oven it goes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Now just in case you're feeling lazy and you don't want to do a crazy design, you can make a very, very simple one as well. You gotta use the same exact process though. I also like to wet the edges. Then you just gotta add another circle right in the middle. And if you want, just add some type of decoration right on top. Come on now, this does not take a long time. Then into the oven it goes together with the other ones. Now as they were cooking, I had a good amount of short rib left and also puff pastry. So I wanted to make a side dish because I don't like anything to go to waste. And here we're gonna do short ribs corn dog style. It's pretty simple and here's how. I went ahead and cut up some skewers so that it's not too big. Then I rolled everything in clinch plastic and let it freeze in my refrigerator for one hour. Once it's done, I took it out, immediately removed the clinch plastic and using some mozzarella cheese and puff pastry, I rolled everything into itself. Once I was done, take a look. Ready to be egg washed. The only thing you gotta keep in mind is to make sure that you get every single edge. If not, it's gonna have a different color. Now to give it a nice appearance, I went ahead and added a little bit of smoky salt right on top. Then into the oven it went at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. As once I was done, I took it out and look. Extremely simple and easy to make side dish. Especially if you had done the beef already. Now I gotta be honest with you. This is delicious. However, I felt like it definitely needed a sauce. So I went ahead and made two of them. The first one I started with a good amount of yogurt, followed by demi glaze. You just gotta mix everything together because the first sauce is done. Now this will have a more savory taste, but I also wanted to have a different choice. So let's make a completely different one. I first started with a good amount of mayo, followed by sriracha, then honey. Now mix everything well and combine it together, and here we have both of our sauces. And I highly recommend making them because it is super easy to do. And by this time my short rib lollipops were fully baked. And I mean take a look at it. It is a beautiful presentation 
version and if you do everything in steps it's not that hard to do however these look fantastic the lazy version not so much but i can guarantee you one thing it will taste just as good to eat it the first thing i like to do is to remove the bone as that was done just for presentation purposes and then the only thing left to do is to go ahead and see what we got in the middle and i mean come on now is there any way that this is not going to be incredible well we're about to find out right now as now the only thing left to do is to go ahead and give it a try all right everybody here we got our beautiful feast today gentlemen what do you guys think oh this is a beautiful feast that was the perfect word you use google i've never seen a more beautiful thing that you've put on a dish i mean take a look at it everybody it's a meat lollipop everybody come on now now Obviously, I explained it to them. If you want to make a nice presentation, you do it like this. But if you don't want to make a nice presentation, I made a much simpler version, which is already in my belly. <laughs> oh. Now, this one right here is very similar, but it's today's side dish. The difference is between this one here and this one is that this has cheese. Because we all know Guga can't live without cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I also have two sauces for us to try. Enough talking. Let's give it a try and you guys give it an honest opinion. Grab your lollipop, whichever one you guys want. Oh. oh, and it's stable. It's pretty stable, everybody. You can just literally, ah. Uh. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Really? We're gonna do like that? I, I would love to. <laughs> I think that's what we have to do. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. <laughs> oh my God. It is worth your time, everybody. I love that it's not a hard bread. It's flaky. Mm -hmm. The meat, the bread, they blend super, super well together. You can taste all of the seasoning of the short rib. This is delicious. I agree 100%. Now, I made two sauces. I would love for you guys to give it a try. Try with this one here first, Leo. So this is like a spicy meat sauce. I might just be able to... Oh. All Ooh. right. Well, let me know with the sauce. Spicy mayo, everybody. Cheers. 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 Mm. Make the sauce. Wow. Yes? Make the sauce. It is worth it. It is amazing with the sauce. It's a better mouthfeel because the previous version is a little bit dry, but this adds not only that sauciness, but it also adds a nice flavor. A little sweet, a little tangy. It's perfect. A little tingle. Now this one here is a little bit different. This one is more like a savory sauce. I have a feeling you guys are gonna like the spicy mayo a little bit better, but let's give this one a try and let the audience know which one we like best. Sounds good? Dip my lollipop. I'm gonna be a little bit more civilized. I'm gonna be like, I don't know. I'm in between civilized and just caveman. <laughs> Leo took the bone out <laughs> just to keep eating it with his hands. <laughs> Boom, roasted. Let's give it a try with the second sauce. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. I know which one is my favorite. Which one you like better, Angel? I'm gonna go spicy mayo. This one's good. Yeah. The second one's a little bit more savory. The first one's like, it has that sweetness and that spiciness. Correct, because the first one has a little bit of honey. You? Definitely the spicy mayo. This sauce is still really good, nice and creamy, but I just like the pop of the sweet and tangy of the previous sauce. 100% agree, everybody. The spicy mayo is the, definitely the one to go. It gives a much better flavor. It brings some types of sweetness to the dish that is just sensational that is delicious very good let's give it a try for the side dish grab whatever one you want now like i said the only difference is here we got cheese wow wow let's go for it you guys ready i Wait, definitely dip oh you definitely want to dip oh, on the I'm... sauce man come on oh yes papa enough talking cheers everybody cheers mm. oh yeah baby that's good with the cheese is amazing it's even more savory uh, i'm taking the <laughs> Always such Why a mess. Why are you so angry? I just want to get more corn dog or <laughs> a short rib dog. I don't know what you would call it. It looks like a corn dog. <laughs> I bit the stick. Yeah, that's, yeah, I bit the stick too. That's why. Yeah, take out the stick, everybody. It's kind of like a hoagie when mm -hmm. you hold it like this. The gooeyness of the cheese really helps bring it all together a little bit better. It's super delicious, super flavorful, and it's got a ton of textures there. This is awesome. And I will say, this thing is juicy to the max, everybody. Even though I removed as much fat as possible, whenever you're using Wagyu short rib, that thing is fatty. And yes, it's Wagyu short rib. I was not expecting it to be Wagyu, but why am I surprised? This is delicious. This is one of the better combinations we've had. Mm -hmm. Especially with the sauce. I think with the sauce, it makes it even crazier. Definitely that one though. That's the winner today. Definitely agree. Spicy mayo is the way to go. This is not that difficult to make. It's just time consuming, everybody. Definitely highly recommend doing it for something special. Not like an everyday meal. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything's always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching. Watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, buddy. Bye-bye.